Laura Trump joins us now, and it's good to have you on tonight. I think you're probably about as shocked as we were when this news came in just after 5 o'clock. Um, your thoughts? Well, I'd like to say I'm shocked. I'd like to say I'm surprised. But unfortunately, Rob, I don't think anyone is, because you go to a liberal bastion like New York City, and no surprise that you could, as you just explained it, indict a ham sandwich. So yes, their hatred for Donald Trump obviously overtook their love for America, our constitutional republic, our rule of law, our equal system of law and justice under the law. And um, obviously, here we are. And I think anyone looking at this can clearly see that this is not about a prosecution. It is about, of course, a persecution of a man who they never liked, who people, not just on the left in America, but in the establishment in America, never liked. They didn't like that a billionaire businessman from New York City, Donald Trump, could come in with no political backing, with no political experience, not need lobbyists, not need special interest groups, not need that establishment, and yet he could become president of the United States. He could expose all of them. They've hated yep. him from day one. And this district attorney's office, by the way, has combed through 11 million documents in search of any crime they could find to pin to Donald Trump to ultimately take him down. Um, this imagine, is the one they had to come back right. to. It is disgraceful. Imagine what they could do if they combed through 11 million Joe Biden documents. Yes. Imagine what they would find if they went through 11 million Nancy Pelosi documents. I, I just said it. I mean, anybody with their eyes open, I don't care what your politics are, is fully aware that the man sitting in the White House right now has been using his position in government as a business for quite a long time, using his son as a bag man to engage in corrupt behavior and influence peddling. It is as obvious as it gets. Anybody with a brain in their head knows that Nancy Pelosi has been funneling secrets about what's going to happen in the next couple weeks to her husband so that they can make loads of money off of stocks. When you look at the tracker, when you look at the stocks that Pelosi buys, when you look at the things that Pelosi knows right before Paul Pelosi goes out and buys a stock, you know there's corruption there. Those are the top two Democrats in Washington, or at least they were before the House flipped over. And here we have this. You have a DA that's gone through every single inch of one of the most complex people that's ever lived in this country, somebody that's owned a, over billions of dollars worth of businesses, who's also run for president. He's been around forever. He's 75 years old. And after all of that, you have to go back to 2004 and a payment to, allegedly a payment to a porn star that you allege was hush money and not simply something to whatever, to protect your reputation, to protect your your, your marriage, whatever it is. I mean, it's, it's such a ridiculous case. And to the American people sitting at home saying, I mean, th this is for, th for the moderates, for the suburbs that Trump struggled with in 2020, to anybody that's just normal and looking at this objectively, that's not hyper-partisan on one side or the other, they're going to say this is what they have? Like all of this ridiculous corruption and elitism in, in, in Washington, and they're going to come after him for this? This is going to change a lot of minds. Yeah, and what about the people of New York City? I used to live in New York City, Rob, yeah. and I left because it is a horrible place to live right now. Crime is running rampant in New York City. Alvin Bragg, by the way, last year uh, made sure that he downgraded 52 percent of the crimes to misdemeanors in New York City, yet he had to raise this one, go back, as you said, to 2004, to a felony to push this forward. It is outrageous. This is a guy who should be focused on making sure people aren't getting pushed in front of subway trains, making sure drug use isn't out of control, making sure that, you know, you don't have people that are just able to walk into stores and take whatever they want and walk out. No one wants to live in this city anymore. Right. And yet this is where the taxpayer money is going. This is where the energy and focus is going. And everyone knows it has nothing to do with actually pursuing a crime. It has everything to do with making sure that Donald Trump never ends up back in the White House. Right. That is their fear because he exposed all of them the first time around. And they are terrified of the job he will do if he gets in for a second term. And just, and just speak for a second to the tremendous incentive that exists for whichever one of these hacks is the first one that indicts Donald Trump. I mean, they were all racing to it. I mean, it, like I said earlier, the DOJ looked at this case. A lot of people have looked at this, this case and just said, this is ridiculous. Are we, we're going to indict a former president for something like this. Alvin Bragg looked at it and said, this is the best I can do. I've looked through the man's entire career and life. This is all I got. But I want to be the first person to indict Trump because I want to be the hero. 
I want to be yep. the guy on MSNBC every night for the next two months. I want to be the guy that's potentially going to be the next AG the next time Democrats win the White House. Uh, and I, th this, this, this is the motivation. They all have that motivation. That's correct. Leave it to a Soros-backed DA, Alvin Bragg, to, of course, try to push this forward. This is for this is basically just for his own grandiose image, obviously, yep. and we all know that. He wants to write a book one day. He wants, as you said, to be attorney general one day. He wants to promote himself and pump himself up. He knows that there is no law that has been broken here. It is not against the law in the United States of America right. to pay someone for a non-disclosure agreement. Everyone agrees on that. Everyone knows it. He knows there's no basis here. This is for him. This is to throw mud at Donald Trump. This is to, of course, as I just said, prevent yep. Donald Trump from ever becoming president of the United States. Again, the problem, Rob, is I think it's going to backfire on them. The problem oh, is it's... that people see this yeah. and they know our constitutional republic is slipping away. If you allow this to happen, they're going to come out and vote for Donald Trump.